Hi everyone, this is Rebecca Evans from the Space Weather Center, located at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. If you've been watching our YouTube videos, then you know that flares have a classification system that's based on their intensities, whereas CMEs, on the other hand, are usually described as being fast or slow or having a moderate speed, which is somewhat vague. In this video, we're going to present a CME typification system to help us more easily describe CMEs. We call it the SCORE scale. NASA uses coronagraphs to take images of CMEs. From these images, we can estimate the CME's speed. Here's a plot showing how often CMEs with a certain speed are measured by SOHO LASCO. The x-axis is the speed in kilometers per second, and the y-axis shows the number of CMEs per year. The most numerous type of CMEs are those with speeds less than 300 miles per second. On average, CMEs with these speeds occur more than 100 times per year. We call these CMEs S-type. The second type of CMEs are those with a speed between 300 and 600 miles per second, which we call C-type for common. Next are the CMEs moving at 600 to 1200 miles per second. We call these O-type for occasional, since CMEs with speeds in this range happen a few times per year. At the NASA Space Weather Center, we monitor these CMEs more closely than the C-type. Their travel time to Earth is around two days, and they can generate strong geomagnetic storms if their magnetic field is in the southward direction. The next type of CMEs are those with a speed between 1,200 and 1,800 miles per second. On average, CMEs with speeds in this range occur less often than once per year, and so we call them R-type for rare. The last type of CMEs are those with a speed greater than 1,800 miles per second. These speeds are seen on average less than once in 10 years, and so we call these ER type for extremely rare. Look for the CME scores in our space weather alerts on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. This has been an informational report from the Space Weather Center, located at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.